Yes, guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY. I'm your host, Adam, your friendly hair system expert, here to offer you advice, tips, tutorials, and of course, my own personal insights. And the insights today are gonna to be coming if you've had glue that's got attached to your hair, like it has mine, whilst doing this frontal regroom. It happens to all of us. It still happens to me five years in, and I've never made a video about it. So now is time. Now I'd like to thank Levivid for sponsoring this video. This is a Levivid hair system. Their sponsorship allows me to keep creating new content just for you guys, which is what I absolutely love doing. There's a 15% discount code popping up right now. If you're interested in getting one of their hair systems, do check them out. So first off, you'll notice this is a, a poly base. It's not a lace base. I don't tend to use glue with lace because if you get glue, in the lace, it's really difficult to get out. It can really ruin the lace and it can have a negative impact upon the hair and the hair knots that sort of connect to the actual lace base. So this is a poly, it's a way, way easier gig to get glue out, but you'll need a couple of things. So number one, you need to make sure you've got a fine tooth comb. Now, I don't tend to share combs with anyone because this one and these two just tend to get a lot of glue in them when I'm doing a regroom and I'm doing a rebond, so I just have my own ones. And then when they get super gluey, I just whack them in the dishwasher or I put them in boiling water with some C22. So a classic example of a hair system comb for me is this one. You can see it's just filled with glue. <laughs> so you can see I've done this before. So you need to make sure you've got that. You need to make sure you've got some adhesive remover, really, really, really important. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you another thing which you might find very helpful if these two don't work, even though they work 99% of the time. So the first thing you wanna do is basically just start combing, just combing where the glue is. So just comb it, and actually a lot of glue just comes out doing that. Try and make sure that the comb itself is as clean as possible because if you find you've got one that's already got a load of glue on it, like this one, it can actually add glue to the hair. This is the last thing we want. So ideally you want it to be pretty clean and already you can see that that glue is coming out and there was a lot of it there. However, you wanna be absolutely certain with this. So you wanna get some adhesive remover and just spray it fairly liberally. Don't worry, it doesn't damage the hair at all. It's, it's actually really absolutely fine for the hair. Sometimes when I want to clean off tape or glue, I actually just put some C22 in some water with the hair system and it's really good at getting it all out. So now you've done that, you wanna comb through it just a couple more times like that. Okay, I'm just gonna use not the gluey one, but this one as well. And you wanna make sure it's as fine as possible because that means it can get to every single bit of glue. Now at this point, you wanna comb it down as well. Just comb it down, just that you're combing it both ways. So you're just making sure you're getting to every single angle of the glue that might have got stuck in the hair. So you can see that's looking pretty good now compared to where it was a few minutes ago. There's still a few little bits. Let's see if we can get them out on the video. It could just be the camera, but it looks like there's still a little bit there. That's just the camera. Okay. So that hair's looking a lot better. Now, if that doesn't work, it works 99% of the time, but if it doesn't, there's another thing that you can do, which is super easy. You can use shampoo with the fine tooth comb. So what I'd usually do in this instance, and it's rare, I'd spray on some C22, leave it for a few minutes, give it a rub like that, like we did <clears throat> earlier on. Then use some C20, uh, not C22, use some shampoo. So I'd recommend actually wetting the hair under the sink, putting some C22 on, letting it sit for a couple of minutes, and then applying some shampoo, I use Joico because it's color protective, and then just rubbing that just into the area where there's the glue, and then literally just going through that with the tooth comb again, maybe five to 10 times, just to make sure you're getting everything out and then washing it. Obviously I've still got some glue 
on the base, that's fine. You don't need to worry about that. As long as it's not in the hair long term, it shouldn't cause a problem. So I hope you found that video helpful, guys. If you're enjoying my content, please subscribe. Aim is to get 30% of people who watch my video to be subscribers. You can hit that notification bell. You'll be notified whenever I make new content. Thank you so much. I love you all so much for sort of helping me build this channel. I love making content and I love engaging with you guys. Let me know if this has helped you in the comments box below and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.